So hey guys, you're here with Rome Charpentier. I'm the driver of the E36 car in Formula Drift Pro 1 built by Garagistic. And I just wanted to go over a lot of the main components we use uh, that keep this car safe on the track and really get the most performance out of your E36 and out of all your race cars. All right, so hey, one of the first things I wanna go over and probably one of the most important things in a drift car or any car really is stopping brakes and brake lines. So we end up running the Wise Fab kit to get more angle out of the car and by doing that, it spaces everything out. So you really wanna run a high pressure and a longer line uh, that can take a lot of abuse, which gradually makes these red lines, uh, which matches our car perfectly. But it, as you can tell, they're on uh, a Willwood setup and they actually make the Willwood bracket kit for the E36 as well. So with their lines, um, you can replace the old spongy lines. So when you hit the brakes, you know you're gonna stop. And uh, they're a lot more durable too if you do hit them with something or a tire or rub something uh, or a piece of fiberglass, it's not gonna cut through them right away. So uh, this is kind of the first main part that we always do on all the cars is upgrade all the brake lines to something that we trust. All right, so we have two options of shifter assemblies too. This is probably the, the second thing I would uh, upgrade in the car for sure. And the reason is, is if you miss a shift or money shift as it's known and you go into first instead of going into third, uh, especially in drifting with wheel speed, it's really easy to kind of, as you're sliding to miss a gear, that's how you blow things up. So I would highly recommend one of these shifters. This is called the Supreme. And this shifter actually mounts in the factory location using all the factory hardware and factory setups. But if you want something a little bit better feeling um, and a little bit more rigid, you can go to what we have in this, which is their chassis mount. Uh, this one was custom anodized red, but they have them in black, silver, and I think there's over 400 options of setup and it's all modular. So you can unscrew the top and you can run like this head on it or this one or the bat or whatever you want and uh, really custom design to your feel, your style and your driving. They actually have taller ones too, so you can have them uh, extended a little bit up or you can have short uh, factory style ones. So this is a, an amazing upgrade. It really allows you to feel what, uh, what gear the car is in and kind of find your way around the track a lot easier without having to try to shift and, and guess where you're at and then go in the next gear. So save you time if you're uh, racing for time and saves you blowing up motors if you're drifting. And remember at the end, don't forget these guys. These are the trans mount, transmission mount bushings. So remember to replace these guys while you're down there digging around through stuff. Also match the transmission mount bushings with the motor mount. So if they're red, go red. If they're uh, blue, which blue is 95, run 95 rear and 95 front. You don't want the transmission or anything twisting on you. So another thing I'd highly recommend upgrading is to poly bushings. Uh, a couple reasons. Mainly that the bushings that are in the cars are, you know, 10, 20, some of them 30 years old if it's like an E30 or something. And they're probably not good anymore. So this will help you kind of get the car back aligned, back set up and, and driving straight again. The other big thing is, is uh, the durability on them. So these are 95s. If you're doing a, a street build, you can run a 90, uh, an 80 actually, which is a red color. You can run 95s, which is blue, which is definitely more for track. And then they also offer a high performance one that's even harder than this, which is a solid aluminum. Uh, I don't recommend aluminum if you're gonna daily it because it's pretty rough. But if you're drifting it or time attack and you want the subframes or anything super solid, the aluminum is the way to go. Something to check out though, uh, what makes the Garagistic ones a lot better than most other companies is they actually have aluminum sleeves in them. So the aluminum sleeve is what ties it all together so that you don't over crush these um, and you can torque them down to factory spec. So in the rear, I believe it's 55 foot pounds uh, and you can actually get the factory torque specs back on the car and get it all set up and dialed in. Something else that's nice that they're releasing is that this is the front diff bushing. Now, for a lot of you guys out there who drive E36s and like to clutch kick, you break these bolts. So something that they do now that they uh, just started, mainly for drifters, is that they offer this in a 14 mil size. So you can actually use a, uh, I believe it's an M5 bolt, like out of an M5, not size M5, but out of an M5, and it's a 14 millimeter bolt, which is a lot larger than the 12 millimeter to go through here. And as long as they're torqued down, that then you won't break diff bolts anymore, uh, clutch kicking the car. Like I said, this thing's just over 600 horsepower. Uh, we've ran it as high as 720 and haven't broken them yet. So uh, these are extremely helpful to keep the rear end straight and not moving around or walking around uh, on you as you're out there drifting and kicking the clutch and working this thing as hard as you can. So now that we're looking at the back of the car, the very first thing I would recommend to any BMW driver are these plates. These are actually the reinforcement plates for 
uh, the rear subframe. So Garagistic did an amazing job making them very simple, very easy to weld in and very nice and clean. Uh, and they're prepped really well. So you don't have to sit in there and, and take a lot of time to clean this. Along with these R-Tab reinforcement plates. Most of the BMWs we get in here, uh, because they are you know, 10, 15, 20 years old, are already destroyed. But if you find a clean chassis out there, I would like the number one thing I would do in the back of the car is this. Because it's not a question of if you're gonna do it, it's when you're gonna do it. So do this as you're putting the bushings in the car so you can kind of do everything at one time, then you'll be ready to go dialed and ready to extend it. So something else I highly recommend for the car that we use in all of our cars are these brackets right here. So these are the E36 and E46 seat brackets. Uh, they are extremely lightweight, they're billet aluminum, so you're not adding a bunch of weight to the car. And there's a million holes in these things, so you can move the seat anywhere you want. One of the most important things for me is being centered in the steering wheel and with the steering column to the center of my chest as a driver. So I like to, be, I like to feel like I'm in the middle of the car. So uh, these allow you to move it over, that's why one is larger than the other side. Allows you to center the seat, get really comfy, and move it to any setup you want. So this is a must for any driver out there who's you know trying to be comfortable in the driving seat. So last but not least, you gotta look the part. So what we have for you today, boom, check these guys out. So these are the new Garagistic shirts. They're actually an exact copy of our pro shirts that we wear in the pits and uh, on the track for Formula Drift. This is what the back of it is. It has the 171 number. If you wanna know what it is, Google it, check out what the 171 looks like and what the reason is behind it. But this is our signature series shirts, Garagistic shirts, they have all the sponsors on the side, super comfy. And then we also have sweatshirts and hats to go along with it. So you can be nice and comfy, rocking the red with us and uh, rooting us on for this year. Hey, so thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more information, more updates about products and stuff that's uh, coming out as we release them. Hopefully this helps you guys make the right choices and choose the right parts when you're building your drift car. Uh, we're gonna continue to build and create stuff down here at Garagistic and uh, we really appreciate the support. Thank you guys.